congratulate you on winning the 2024 Diving Chess uh, Dutch Championship. I know that uh, uh, you know you made it to the finals last year, the first time, and this was your second time. And it sounds like it was a very exciting uh, tournament with you beating a grandmaster in the final. Uh, yeah, how 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 did it feel? How, how how did it go? Thank you so much. Yeah, I was very excited. And because last time there was not a uh, barrage, there was no extra game needed. Uh, Sipke Ernst won that year, but this time we uh, we played one extra game, and uh, I beat him in the uh, yeah in the final. So it was quite. I, I saw, I saw, I saw the like the, the critical position where he was winning, and 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 he, you know. But it was a dangerous position, and he made it one small error, and he just pounced on it. It was, uh, it was quite an elegant uh, uh, finish towards the end. Exactly. It should have been lost for me. It was lost for me. But I tried to mess a bit around and create some chances, and he missed an intermediate move, and he blundered. That's why I won. That's how it happened, yeah. And how was it physically and mentally? It was easier this time compared to last year because I was already used to uh, the diving part and I could reapply some tactics I had discovered last year. So that's why I think I had an advantage over Can not necessarily sure? Sipke, sure. but also opponents who whose uh, first time it was. Sorry, what? Can you share the tactics that you learned? For example, what some people do is when they when their opponents goes up, then they then they merge under the water and they make a move. But then they only start thinking as soon as they are at the bottom. But what you should do is, as soon as you get up, you immediately uh, you sort of bend over and try to look into the water already while your opponent gets down. So that so once, once you, some once valuable you seconds. Take a breath, take a breath and, and look down and keep thinking. Exactly. Basically. So when you get up, you inhale deeply and then immediately you start looking at what your opponent is going to do. Well, let me ask you, I mean, you're you're a FIDE master. And mm-hmm. so you can visualize the board, you know, why do you need to look down? Can't you just see it in your head? Because I'm also looking down to see what my opponent is going to do. Oh, I and see. So you're also gaining... Maybe exactly. a second before he comes up, you also have a little bit more time to start to think about because by the time he makes the he or she makes the move, till they come up, you have a few extra seconds to think. Exactly, about. and that's very valuable because you have to move uh, immediately. You don't have time to think, which makes it very different from normal chess because you have a clock and you can spend as much time on a move as you want. I see. That's, so that's right. Yeah. Every second really counts. Exactly, and sometimes my opponent. I in one round, I had an opponent who spent a lot of time, I think he was an athlete or something, he spent a lot of time just being at the bottom and thinking about his move. But actually, it did not yield that much uh, benefit because I could also just stare at the position, even though it wasn't my move, I could do some calculations in advance. So that was really valuable. So what about, um, I mean, so was it five rounds plus the final? So six rounds total? Is that, is that right? Last year, we only had five rounds, but we finished quite early. And also this year, we were yeah, going according to schedule. So that's why we decided to include another so, round. So, so we had so six what, rounds. And after that, Sipke and I had just as uh, many points. So that's why Sipke and I played uh, seven rounds. Wow. Seven is a lot. So hold on. So how long did the whole tournament take then uh, from start to finish for you? Like three hours, three and a half hours, something like that. Okay. It's still pretty fast, all in all. I got to say, just hours. for seven rounds. Yeah. Four hours. And were you, um, um, you know, also some people say that, you know, when you, when you, not only is it obviously, you know, mentally taxing, but also uh, one can get kind of cold when you, you know, in the pool, when you're not swimming around, did you start to get cold? Did you find some ways to warm your body up or, um, yes. yeah. It was quite cold, but that was because of the water temperature, which is also probably last year. So that's why between the rounds, I took a hot shower and that helped that's a bit. Smart. Yeah. Some people and, also uh, drink, drink some hot tea or something as well. Uh, okay. to warm up the body internally as well. Um, and yeah, what that about... was an option, unfortunately, but otherwise I would have done it, yeah. Yeah, and what about, was it hard? Like, you know, some people say it's kind of hard to, uh, you know, because you are not you don't have any weights or anything, but to go, to go down to the board, did you find some sort of like, I don't know, some sort of style that would let you kind of, I don't know, bend your body or and exhale your breath in a way that would make it comfortable for you to go down? Or 
yeah, did you have a technique or what? Well, that's a bit of a dilemma because if you exhale, it's easier to stay at the bottom, but then you're also out of uh, breath sooner. That's right. Um, so what I do, I sort of try to launch myself into the water so that my legs go up a bit. So that sort of pushes me down more. Uh, it also helps if you have more muscle weight because in that case, uh, well, yeah. your body is more mass and you stay down earlier. So that also oh. helps. Um, Sipke so is you, more muscle than I am. So. Oh, I see. So Wait, so you, so you, you exhaled gradually you try to keep your, your breath and and yeah and use the technique exactly. and then and towards the end basically i guess the idea is you know you'll slow, slowly sink and then at the right moment you're you know you're ready to make your move anyway so that's yeah, cool well, i don't slowly yeah. sink i really like push myself into the water launch myself into the water sort of and are you just kind of like swimming around in some way exactly or just... i try to keep pushing myself wow. down so there is there's a lot of technique involved yeah but you get used to it yeah, Especially if yeah. you've uh, participated before, yeah. Well, that's cool. I don't think um, much about it. It just goes automatically, I think. That's cool. Well, uh, yeah. you're, clearly you're a natural. Um, and when you're you're a FIDE master, um, maybe, I don't know, do you want to uh, share any other thoughts about, you know, how different this was or, I don't know, anything else that you found interesting <laughs> from the experience? It's just the experience itself. It's uh, It's very cool. Like, I mean, you just have to do it. If you know how to swim, of course, otherwise it's going to be hard. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, I just wanted to join because of the experience. I also had the main tournament going on. Um, oh, so you also played in the main. Wow, that's cool. Yes. How did you do in that? Um, according to my ELO, so not, nothing special. I won a bit of, uh, I won some ELO points. That's nice. Although the day after the underwater chess tournament, I lost my game, unfortunately. So maybe mm. it was a bit exhausting. Yeah. But overall, it was sense. a very nice uh, tournament. Here, so just for the you know the viewers, listeners, you're playing in a you know a serious FIDE tournament during the day, and this this event was it was an evening event. So yeah, you had the energy to go and do that, but it's not surprising that the next day you'd be exhausted. I mean, playing a full a full day and then having diving chests, uh, yeah, that's that's a lot. Um, amazing, cool. So will you do you plan to uh, take part uh, again uh, in the future? I hope so, definitely. Yeah. Some uh, cool. enthusiastic spirits thought we should at the tournament. We sh uh, thought we should organize the world championship. It's possible. So, uh, we will yeah. see. We will see. To be to be uh, to be uh, determined, I guess. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, I love I love how you know uh, some people had fun. I, it was twenty four competitors, I believe, uh, and it was a nice mix of people, both uh, gender wise and and internationally. Uh, yeah. So you know, it's, it sounds like a really great tournament, uh, and uh, yeah, and you also got to use the new sets as well, which was kind of cool. Yes, yeah, there were. Uh, it was easier to play with the pieces this time than last year. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, and easier because, to see. Uh, the pieces are heavier, and I think the magnets also uh, are yeah. stronger. Yeah. I'm not sure if the pieces are heavier. I think the magnets are just stronger, actually. Uh, okay. I think I think that's what makes the difference, but. <laughs> so it's a shame you weren't there, but uh, otherwise, I'd love to see you again in Groningen. Yeah, no, I definitely want to come and, and, and do it again. And you know, I'm very, you know, very passionate about supporting this this new uh, this new because sport. Because this is your invention, right? It is. It is. It's my 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 madness. I'm, I'm to blame. Uh, absolutely. I, mean, I just wanted something kind of interesting, a way to, you know, for people to have fun playing chess in a, in a different way. So, and I and I do hope. Because I know a lot of people have really have wanted to try it in the moment. It's uh, you know we don't actually have extra boards. Uh, I hope that in the future we will have boards that people can buy at an affordable price. Because we you know I'd like it to be accessible to more people. Um, so we will see. Uh, that's that's exactly. being being developed. Maybe also something for people who don't know how to swim. Because for example, uh, my boyfriend he really wanted to participate, but he could not do that because he doesn't know how to swim. But do you need to know how to swim if you're in shallow water? Because you could stand, you know? Yeah, but still, you need to know the tactics to go down and to go up. And if you're not used to being in around water, I think. Does your boyfriend uh, uh, have a decent ELO rating? No, uh, 1,200 <laughs> or something. <laughs> okay, but that's cool. He also has experience. He's from Turkey. He never learned how to swim, unfortunately. So well, someday. It's never too late. Never too late to no. learn, you know? Um but yeah, no, definitely. That'll be that'll be great. 
Well, that's cool. And do you have any anything? I don't know any other exciting plans for for the year? In terms of chess or uh... anything. Well, uh, the underwater chess championship in yes, December this year. I yep. will definitely participate again. And for the rest, I'm just carrying on with my chess, uh, chess progress development. Cool, cool. Well, yeah. a huge congratulations, and uh, yeah, and I look forward to to you know to seeing you uh, play more diving chess and and. Uh, and yeah, and I'm, I'm I'm delighted that you you know you did so well and had so much fun. So yeah, well done. Thank you so much.